So this one is question 26. This one is from paper May, June 2015, uh, paper one, two. I actually forgot to do this question, so I have to do it. And I will also um, leave a link to this question on the paper itself, on the main video itself. Okay, so let's move on to that question. So the first four terms of a sequence S are given by this. Now, if you observe, what happens, right? So from 89 to 83, 83 to 77, 77 to 71. So basically at every time you are minus six, minus six, and minus six. Question part one, find an expression for Sn, the nth term of this sequence. So as always, when you have a common difference, you write down minus six times n. So now we know the first term is equal to 89. So what if you replace n equal to one? You will have minus six times one, that will be minus six. So if you replace n, you get minus, if you're sorry, if you replace n by one, you get minus six, but the real answer is 89. So how can you change minus six to 89? You have to add 95. That's how you change minus six to 89. Same way, you have to add 95 on this. So your n term will be 95 minus 6n. That will be your n term. Now for part two, find the smallest value for n for which sn is less than zero. So sn is this. So let's solve. 95 minus 6n is less than zero. So minus 6n is less than minus 95. Now when you divide by negative, the sign change, that will become 95 divided by 6. So now we have to divide uh, this number. So let's just divide by 6, 1, you will have 1 here, 3 remaining, you will have 5.0, and you will have 5 remaining, and 8, and going on. So basically n will be more than 15.8, and then it keeps going on so the least value will be at so bigger than this value so the term is of course an integer so what is the integer after this you will have n equal to 16. now let's move on to part b the n term of a different sequence is given to you by this this is the n term so part one find and simplify an expression for tn plus one minus tn so tn plus one will be what we have to replace the value of n by tn n plus 1. That will be n plus 1 square minus 4n plus 1. That will be n square plus 2n plus 1 minus 4n minus 4. That will become um, n square minus 2n minus 3. So that is tn plus 1. Now we have to find this. tn plus 1 minus tn. That will be n square minus 2n minus 3, minus tn, that will be n square minus 4n. Simplify, n square minus 2n minus 3, minus n square plus 4n. So these two will be cancelled out. So you have minus 2n plus 4n, that will be 2n minus 3. That will be your n term for that expression. Now for part 2, the difference between tp plus 1 and tp is 75. So this one is very alike this. So basically we are saying tp plus 1 minus tp is equal to 75. So here we have tn plus 1 minus tn equal to this. So this means this is equal to tp minus 3 equal to 75. Now we have to find the value of p. So we make p the subject of formula. So 2p become 75 plus 3, p will become 78 divided by 2. That will be 39. So p will be 39 for this question. And that will be question number 26. And that is actually the last question of this paper. All right, thank you for watching. I will see you soon.